Hi, welcome to our art studio, Main Square Museum Friends, and welcome to our first episode of Toilet Paper Tube TV with Miss Trudy from the Main Discovery Museum. Um, Toilet Paper Tube TV is a new program uh, launched by the Main Discovery Museum to bring you some of the projects that we do at the museum all the time to your home so you can do them yourself. Because let's face it, we are go all going to have a lot of these bad boys in the next coming weeks and months and there's a lot of fun stuff that you can do with them. And I'm talking about toilet paper tubes. Toilet paper tubes are some of my favorite craft projects because there's so many different things you can do with them. So let's talk about toilet paper tubes a little bit. You might call them toilet paper rolls, TV rolls. I call them toilet paper tubes because they are tubular. Um, they roll, you can stand them up and you can do a lot of really, really cool projects and science explorations with toilet paper tubes. All right, first things first, toilet paper tubes come from one of the germiest places in your house, uh, your bathroom, where in most places your toilet is. And we all know what happens at your toilet, right? Right? So let's talk about this a little bit. Number one, these are not any more germy than most of the things that come out of your own house. And there is a trick, a hack, to make them a whole lot less germ. Okay, you ready? Number one, flush with your lid closed. Do your business, close the lid, and then flush. And that eliminates a lot of the germs that you spray into the air on everything in your bathroom, including your towels, yourself, and yes, your toilet paper tubes. There's another way to get rid of the germs in your bathroom and some of the more common household germs. Um, you take your toilet paper tubes and you bake them. And that doesn't sound as crazy. Well, actually it does sound a little crazy, but I don't mean baking them like cookies. Let me explain to you what I mean. Toilet paper tubes are made out of paper products. So you can't really wash them because what happens if you wash them? They get soggy and then they look a little bit more like mud. Um, and you can't really do anything with them after they get soggy. And you can't really spray them with disinfectant. But what you can do is you can expose them to a little bit of heat. Because most germs, pretty much all germs that we need to worry about right now, um, don't survive heat very well. And this is something that your grown-ups have to do for you. Because you can just chuck a bunch of toilet paper tubes in the oven and crank up the heat and hope for the best. Because we don't want you to you know, burn on your house or anything. So what you do is you take your toilet paper tubes, you put them on a cookie sheet, and you set your oven, again, your grown-up sets your oven to the lowest temperature they can. Anything between 175 degrees Fahrenheit and 200 degrees Fahrenheit, however low your oven can go, will pretty much get rid of most of those germs. Actually, pretty much all of them. Goodbye germs, see you later. And of course, you need to watch your oven while you do that. They need to bake for about 20 minutes to make sure the heat goes all the way through the cardboard and gets everything that's on the inside. And that takes about 20 minutes or so. And then they should be good to go. Grown-ups, do you remember that you all had to read Fahrenheit 451 in high school? That is actually the temperature paper catches on fire. So, 451 degrees Fahrenheit is the temperature that paper would just go whoosh, flames, inferno. But remember, we're baking these at between 175 and 200 degrees Fahrenheit for 20 minutes under supervision, let them cool in the oven, and they're ready to rock and roll. All right, are you with me? All right, once they are germ-free, you can do a whole bunch of cool stuff with them. So we just talked about how to de-germify our toilet paper tubes. So let's talk about the large family of cardboard tubular objects that you can use for your crafts. Can you guess which ones of those tubes are for toilet paper? You guessed it right. It's the shorter ones because honestly, I have no idea what kind of behind would need a roll of toilet paper that's this big. So let's talk about our different kinds of cardboard tubes that we can use for our project. You notice that they have different heights and have different colors and they actually have different diameters too. Some are bigger and some are smaller. Some are bigger and some are smaller openings and some are taller and some are shorter. Okay? You'll be surprised 
how many different kinds of tubes you can find just from the recyclables in your house. And they're all useful for different kinds of projects. My favorite kind are the toilet paper tubes that are kind of stiff and hard and strong because you can use them for shooters and projects where you need a little strength. And there's some that are kind of squishy. Those are much, much easier to cut. Can you see that? Oh, these, are, these are much easier to cut with chil children's scissors, kitty scissors, um, and they can be used for other projects. Now, because they have different diameters, they also um, fit together in different ways. So this one right here is a wider diameter, so the little one fits into the larger one. And that's important for projects where you need to have movable parts like pretend telescopes and other cool things that we're going to be talking about in a little bit. The color doesn't really matter. There's white toilet paper tubes. Of course, if you color them with crayons or markers, the colors show up much better and brighter, but that's really the only difference. So for our project, it's more important how stiff the cardboard is, how strong the tube is to decide how to cut it and what projects to use it for. And then once you go into the big brothers and sisters of the toilet paper tubes, you have all kinds of tubes that you can find. This tube right here is from when you used your last piece of aluminum foil. So don't just look in the bathroom for cool tubes you can use for your projects. These two are paper towel tubes, which a lot of people use in their houses too. And don't throw them away. These are even cooler for some projects. This, I actually don't know where this came from. It's pretty hard and stiff, so I don't know what I'm going to be doing with it, but we'll save this one for later. And it's the same with this one. This one is a pretty tough toilet paper tube. Ah, not toilet paper tube, paper tube. And then this big mama jama tube right here, I think came from a fabric roll maybe, a big, big pile of fabric, I don't know. Um, not sure what we're going to be doing with this. It would make an awesome telescope. Everybody looks very small right now. But we'll set this aside for now because we will be focusing on tubes that you can cut with tools that you have in your house because I think this is going to need a saw, right? So see you next time at the Mediscar Museum for Toilet Paper Tube TV. <laughs>